Are polyaneuploid cancer cells the keystone cure for cancer? Cancer is a global health concern. Although localized cancers can be effectively treated, metastatic cancers spread throughout the body and are currently incurable. This means that half of all people with cancer still die from the disease. To date, cancer cells have proven resistant to all high tech medical innovations. Furthermore, researchers have not understood exactly what cells or mechanisms cause this remarkable resilience amongst cancer cells. Dr. Kenneth Pienta at the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, USA, has recently made the exciting discovery that in every type of cancer, polyaneuploid cancer cells, or PACs, represent a small percentage of the cancer cell population. Although observed in the literature for over a hundred years, new evidence now supports the role of PACs as the central, common actuator of tumor formation, metastasis, and therapeutic resistance across all cancer types. Dr. Pienta and his colleagues take an entirely novel approach to understanding how PACs interact and respond holistically within the whole body. They propose a cancer cell ecosystem in which PACs form a keystone species. Keystone species are critical within a given ecosystem such that if they are removed, the ecosystem will either dramatically change or collapse. In terms of cancer, when therapeutic stress, that is treatment, of any kind is introduced to the ecosystem, the majority of cancer cells die, resulting in a decreased tumor size. However, the surviving cells from PACs, which then repopulate the tumor with resistant cancer cells. Dr. Pienta and his colleagues believe that by removing this keystone species, the cancer ecosystem will collapse. With Professor Robert Austin at Princeton University, USA, Dr. Pienta studied prostate cancer cells seeded into the cancer microenvironment and treated with docetaxel, an anti-prostate cancer drug at a lethal dose expected to kill 99% of the cancer cells. After 14 days, the cancer cells were largely eliminated, but then, unexpectedly, some grew back. Not only had the cancer cells returned against all expectations, but now they were resistant to the drug therapy. Dr. Pienta's extensive network of collaborations has further resulted in the demonstration that PAC cells enter a hibernating state, potentially for years, when exposed to chemotherapy. This is a critical survival mechanism, as cancer therapy requires damaged cancer cells to divide for it to work and to kill the cells. Dr. Pienta has also identified that PACs have stem cell-like properties and can reproduce themselves to maintain the cancer as well as metastasize to disperse around the body. Multiple research strands are now being planned to provide a deeper understanding of PACs and to identify ways to eliminate them. Dr. Pienta and his team recognize that targeting the PACs is a difficult task since they represent such a tiny fraction of the overall tumor cell burden. Furthermore, they acknowledge that they will likely need to combine multiple strategies that include eliminating a large number of the general cancer cells with a strategy to kill the few in number but critically important PACs. Now in a call to arms, Dr. Pienta is asking researchers and scientists across diverse disciplines to unite in this approach to develop a cure for cancer, holding the potential to solve one of medicine's greatest challenges.